so I have completed the dishcloth, the basic dishcloth. Previously, I had a video that I posted on how to create a basic dishcloth by casting on and starting the dishcloth. Well, now I am going to show you how to finish the basic dishcloth and bind off. Hey everyone, TLK Knitting here. So if you'd like to see more, I'm gonna now go into showing you how to finish up the dishcloth. I'm gonna finish up, so let's get straight to the knitting. I cast it on 36 stitches. I'm using, uh, it's suggested for size seven knitting needles. And I'm gonna make it eight inches. That's my preference, you don't have to. You can make it smaller and you can have less stitches casted on. So dishcloths can be any size. They don't have to be this big. I just like to be able to hold it a little bigger in my hand. Knitting the garter stitch as we go until it measures eight inches. Dimensions will be eight by eight. Approximately four inches right now. All right. So as you knit along, just try to make sure as you go, you have the consistency amount of tension. Gonna keep continuing on knitting. And as you master the garter stitch, you will be able to go a little quicker. And if you're already at that point, you can move on to different textures of yarn. When you're measuring, you don't want to stretch it out. Okay, so when you're measuring, you just kind of want to pat it. Just make sure your stitches are laying flat. Just give it a little pat. Okay. And we have eight inches. So that's how long I want it to have the dishcloth. So I'm gonna go ahead now and show you how to bind off. Okay, so once you've completed your work, here's one way to bind off. So, first you knit it, knit two stitches, and then carry that one over, okay? 
knit your stitch, carry it over. Okay. Knit your stitch through the loop. Okay. And then carry it over. Okay. So you're going to knit through the loop. And then you're going to carry it over. And that creates your loop. Okay. So we're going to knit. And then we're going to bind off. Carry it over the other stitch. Knit. Carry the stitch over. Okay. Knit. Carry the stitch over. Gonna knit. Carry the stitch over. Knit. Carry the stitch over. Put your knitting needle through the loop and move it over. Okay? Through the loop. And we're gonna move it over. Okay, so you consistently do that all the way till the end. Okay, do that all the way to the end. Okay, We're almost at the end. Yay, you're doing it. You got this. We're almost at the end of the row, binding, casting off. Okay. And now we are at our last stitch. So you're going to do the same thing. Pull it through. Okay. Grab your scissors. So we're going to cut that. I need my darning needle. So you have your darning needle. You're going to tie the end. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and loop that through. Okay, we've looped it through. Now what we're going to do is, is weave in the ends. Okay. Okay, go like that. I kind of go crisscross. Weave in the ends. All right. And we don't want to cut it right down to the fabric. Have a little bit so it has a little bit of breathing room for when you stretch. Go ahead and weave in the other side. Okay, just going to weave in. There we go. And then we are going to go ahead there. And that's how you weave in the ends. And Now you've just made your first garter stitch dishcloth. Yay, we did it.
together DIY okay looks good you can grasp it pretty decent with this size you can make it smaller if you like but I like to have it a little bigger so I can hang on to it a little better when I'm washing the dishes there you go your cotton 100% cotton dishcloth. So that's how you complete the dishcloth and bind off as you go for the garter stitch. And it looks amazing. It looks great. The texture is really nice. So now that you've completed that, I'm going to move on and I'm going to do other types of videos with uh, various yarns. So for now, um, you can catch me live at twitch.tv slash TLK knitting Mondays and Wednesdays. I knit and I try to do it during the day, but just hit the follow button and you'll get alerted when I am live. Also, there'll be the links down below for my discord. You can also join my discord and also you can find me on Etsy on Twitch and other social media platforms. See you soon and thank you for watching. Bye everyone.